This pulley is called the RC31 by Stein and it's a rigging aid which was purpose built to pre-tension a lowering line at a ratio of 3 to 1. Now it's nothing that couldn't otherwise be achieved using a conventional pulley, carabiner and friction cord but um, like I said this one was purpose built to make the job simpler and faster. So I shall give you a demo right now. Rather than pre-tensioning a branch I'm just going to raise this rather unimpressive cherry log um, which is all I've got a hand at the minute. So we start by routing the lowering line as we normally would for this example we're going to use this hanging lowering device. Apply two or three wraps to the barrel and pull the slack out. Then we attach a friction cord. I'm just going to use a simple prussic knot on this occasion but I'm sure there are plenty of other knots that work just as well if not better. So once the prussic knot's in place we hook the pulley through the spliced eyes and slide the hitch up as far as we can And then we'll keep two wraps on the lowering device and flip it over the pulley wheel. Now the rope is kept in position by this guide hook so it's important that we keep the rope behind the guide hook and from there onwards we apply our tension when you run out of line just pinch the rope against the guide hook and put a turn on it for security then loosen the friction cord and slide it back up as high as you can reach take the weight of the rope push it back off the hook and away we go again. Now when we have all the tension that we need remove the rope from the pulley and put several wraps around the barrel and tie it off Then we can slip out the pulley, remove the friction cord, and away we go. Slightly off topic, but still relevant. You may wonder is um, there any other reason to tie the uh, lowering device up at the top as well as the bottom? Well, it is easier to wrap the rope and tension it, absolutely no doubt. But as well as that, it's also possible, even with a couple of wraps still on the barrel, to remove slack from the line as it occurs. Now such slack often occurs when you're blocking down wood or branches from above 
your rigging point. But with the device tied off twice, such as this, it is possible to draw out that slack and catch the load much faster. The technique is sometimes referred to as rapid slack removal. And of course if we didn't have it tied off twice, as the slack was induced, the device would just flop down and we wouldn't be able to draw it out. So there's your answer. Thanks for watching.